my dears and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I'm Shannon and today I've got a kind of review slash chat video to share with you guys because I can't not talk about this anymore. I kept going back and forth. Should I film a video on this? And I was like, nah. And I was like, yeah. And we're doing it. We're just gonna do it. Today we're gonna be talking about the Netflix reality show Love is Blind. The finale went up a few days ago, the end of last week. And I just can't stop thinking about it. It's 10 episodes and it's, you guys, it's wild. It's wild. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just crazy. And everyone on it's crazy. The whole premise is crazy. It's a lot of crazy. So I'm going to give you a basic... gist of what happens. There's going to be spoilers here so if you haven't seen it and you want to see it maybe don't watch this video. So I remember it was late one night I couldn't sleep I was flipping through Netflix and I saw I said, new episodes Love is Blind. I clicked on it without really knowing anything about it and so as the first episode <laughs> as the first episode starts playing and our hosts Nick and Vanessa Lachey start telling us what this show is going to be about. I was blown away. I had to pause it. My husband was up in bed. I called him because I knew he wasn't asleep yet. I called him and I'm like, listen to this. <laughs> so there's a bunch of men and a bunch of women. The men kind of live in one section of a building together and the women live in a section together and the two never come face to face. Instead what happens is there are these pods and so when you go to a pod you walk in you're in a small room there's alcohol in there there's a couch and there's a screen like a partition partition <laughs> and on the other side of the wall is a man who is in the same sort of room and you start talking to him and <laughs> You, you know, ask questions, do a bit of chatting, whatnot, and then you move on to the next one. So you're meeting all of these people for the first time. And then, you know, the next day you'll decide who you like best and you can meet up with them again through, in the pods, through a wall. And the aim of the show, okay, hold on to your hats when I tell you this. The aim of the show is within 10 days to propose marriage to somebody. Okay, are you with me so far? Propose marriage to somebody. So that's the first 10 days of this social experiment, they're calling it. After the 10 days are up, the couples that have paired off and are now engaged go to Mexico for a little vacation where they can get to know each other more. Then after that, they get to go to um, an apartment that they're going to be sharing together where they can kind of see how their relationship works in the real world. And then after like four or five weeks, however long it is from start to finish, the final episode is a bunch of weddings. <laughs> And then you're just kind of on the edge of your seat waiting to see if these people are going to say I do or if they're going to peace out, walk back down the aisle and leave. <laughs> so right away, like, that's a lot. That's a lot to process. And it's absolutely wild. And so I watched the first episode and then I was absolutely addicted no matter how insane the premise was. No matter how unhinged these people seem, <laughs> and they do, we're gonna get to that. These people seem absolutely wacky. And I mean, <laughs> you do what you gotta do, right? You get in there, you try to find someone to love you, which, you know, at our core is what we all want. I get it. Um, and I think there were six couples who made it out of the pods engaged. Now the first couple who got engaged, they're my favorite. I think they're everybody's favorite. It's Lauren and Cameron and um, I believe they have a YouTube channel now but I haven't looked into that but I, I heard. Um, within 
I think it was something crazy like three days or six days they were engaged they were the first couple no, definitely not six days probably three days I don't know it was crazy and you know he proposed and she said yes and then they got to see each other in person and off they went to Mexico so that's Cameron and Lauren next there's a couple that you kind of have to mention together because they're very intertwined it's Amber and Barnett and then Jessica and Mark picture this if you will you're in the pods. You're Barnett, <laughs> who's, you know, a, like a 27, 28 year old man. He's talking to a few girls and whoever the last girl he talked to was, that's the one he's in love with, okay? So it's like just whoever, whoever happens to get in his ear last. And we get down to it and there's three girls who are really interested in him and want him to propose to them. One, he tells her, you know no and she didn't get proposed to anybody so she wasn't or proposed to by anybody so she wasn't in the rest of the show um so amber is who he eventually ends up getting engaged to she seems like a lot <laughs> and then there was jessica who so she was talking to barnett and mark this is a lot i know you guys but i have to get it out of my soul Jessica was talking to Barnett and Mark and there's this weird thing about Jessica where she talks like a baby uh, like she uses this weird high-pitched baby voice when she's talking to the men but then when she's in like the confessional or whatever she's talking normally and it's just it drives me insane so she's talking to Barnett and Mark um eventually she tells mark you know this is over between us barnett's gonna propose i'm sorry i really like you but we have to be done here so he's hurt obviously because he thought that they were a match and then barnett goes ahead and proposes to amber leaving jessica um out in the dust because she thought barnett was into her Jessica then goes crawling back to Mark and he, like the fool that he is, as you'll soon see, takes her back. Mark. No, Mark. So, so <laughs> there's those three couples and there's another couple, Diamond and Carlton. I'm not going to talk much about them because they broke up in Mexico. They didn't make it back to the apartments. They just weren't a good fit. He kept sabotaging their relationship, treating her poorly once they got out of the pods because he was nervous about that this whole thing. So we're not going to get into that. But next up is Kenny and Kelly. They're this very sweet kind of low key couple. And then there was Giannina and Damien. Now Damien gave me the creeps from day one. There was just something I didn't like about him. It just didn't, I don't even know why, I just didn't like him. Giannina, I liked a lot, we'll call her Gigi because that's kind of what her nickname is. And so those are the couples. They go to Mexico and it's really awkward because in some ways, because by now, <laughs> by now Jessica has seen Mark in person and <clears throat> while there's nothing wrong with how Mark looks he's not what she had in mind he's not tall like Barnett or buff like Barnett he's just not what she had in mind and so right off the bat you can tell that she's just not into him which we already knew because she broke up with him once because she thought Barnett was going to propose to her so there's just all kinds of awkwardness with Jessica seeing Barnett and Amber and Mark and it's all weird and Jessica is drunk all the time all the time as the episodes went on it became quite clear that Jessica probably has an alcohol problem and at one point when they're in the apartment she brings her dog to come live with them and she fed her dog wine from her wine glass like she's sitting on the couch talking to Mark without missing a beat she puts her wine glass down lets the dog lick out of it and then she goes on to drink from it 
I don't know which part of that is more horrifying. And <laughs> so there's just so much awkwardness. And Gigi and Damien, they are just constantly kind of at each other's throats. Um, but in a way that always seems to turn around for them. <laughs> but she's really a lot, but in a fun sort of way. Although there's this one scene where she's standing in the kitchen and he's laying in bed and she's talking to him from the kitchen as he's in the bedroom and she says this... <laughs> It was like watching somebody kill somebody on live TV, which just sounds dramatic, and it is, but she, they're having a bit of an argument, just a regular everyday argument, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, she says, do you notice how you always tell me that I'm the best you've ever been with, meaning like intimately? So she says, have you ever noticed you always tell me I'm the best you've ever been with, but I don't return the compliment? They weren't even arguing about that. She just brings it up out of nowhere and that seems to be like said on television like to a camera for no other reason other than to hurt him and it was brutal. It was brutal and I don't even like the guy and it was brutal. Penny and Kelly who were kind of just keeping it low key I really liked them at first and I still really like Kenny and Kelly but to me Kelly seems like she has this idealized version of love in her mind, which you know we all do to some extent. And she feels like if it's not crazy, lust filled, it's not love. And of course that plays a part, but the more she would speak about Kenny and how she didn't find herself attracted to him, she felt more like he was a friend. It just seemed like maybe she's got this idea in her mind that no one's going to fit into, but maybe not. And you know, that's her prerogative. If she's not attracted to him, she, you know, you certainly don't have to marry somebody you're not attracted to. And so that led us up to the wedding days, you guys, the wedding days. So I will tell you of the five couples that made it to the wedding days, Two of them got married and those two were Lauren and Cameron obviously love them love that and then Amber and Barnett they actually got married I wasn't sure if they were going to because there were some things she'd say that you could tell from his face weren't he wasn't loving the sound of it like about her debt she had all this debt from college and she didn't even graduate and she was unemployed and whatnot and it just, you couldn't tell for sure if he was really feeling it. But in the end, they did get married and who knows, maybe they'll go the distance. It might just be crazy enough to work, the two of them. And then um, for Gigi and Damien, it was Damien that said no. For Jessica and Mark, it was Jessica who said no. And for Kenny and Kelly, it was Kelly who said no. Kelly's mom, <laughs> After she said no and Kelly left, Kelly's mom turned to like her husband or one of the other wedding guests because so Kelly says no, she leaves the church. Kenny's up there giving a little speech about, you know, how some things just don't work out and everything is going to be okay. Um, While well, you can see on his face that he is just devastated and Kelly's mom turns and says, oh, I love this guy. <laughs> and he was, he was, he seemed like a real sweet guy. So it's too bad that that couldn't work out. So now this week, I think on Thursday, on the Netflix um, YouTube channel, I believe they're doing a reunion show because get this, the show was filmed from September to November 2018. So it's been like a year and a half almost since when they started filming it. So can you imagine having to keep, like say you got married, so like say for Cameron and Lauren, they had to kind of keep that secret for a year and a half. It's a long time. So I'll be interested now to see the reunion show and see how everyone's doing. <laughs> and you guys, it's just the craziest show I've ever seen. The premise is crazy. What's happening is crazy. Everyone involved seems 
a little bit crazy, which I mean, I guess you'd have to be, right? If going on a Netflix show where you <sighs> propose to someone sight unseen, saying that you'll marry them, I mean, there's gotta be, there's gotta be something going on there. But uh, yeah, it's a fun watch. And if you haven't watched it already, I would definitely recommend it. If you have seen it, guys, you gotta let me know in the comments down below. Who were your favorites? What did you think of it all? Are you hoping for a second season? Because I know I am. I'm very much, fingers crossed, for a second season. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on Friday with another Book Talk video. Bye, guys.